Hello Internet, I'm Bernard Fez, a Tiki Specialist. In this Tiki Express tutorial, I will explain how to enable the Categories feature and how it can be used. Tiki allows to create, edit and manage objects like wiki pages, tracker items, calendars, events, articles, files, etc. To define a group of objects, we can use Tiki Categorize and once categorized, objects can be displayed, rearranged and filtered by category. We can also assign permission through the admin categories interface to create different set of content. Let me summarize how to enable the feature. Using the Unifine admin backend, a new option for which I create a video tutorial, check links in the description down below to view the video and of course, don't forget to subscribe to receive a notification on new tutorial. Logged as admin, go to settings and then control panel. You will find categories under global setup categories. If you don't use the unified admin backend, go to the features control panel, secondary feature, enable categories and apply. We can see now in the main menu the categories item, click on the link and access to admin categories. Now, a few things. It is important to understand that categorizing an object is similar to the action of tagging the existing object or group of objects. When you delete an object from a category, your action will in fact remove this object from the category but it will not delete the object from your database. Second thing, categorization is mainly based on ID, a number, not on, an on the label of the category. This allows changing a category label or name without altering the categorization of the object. While there are many ways to use categories in Tiki, let me show you my top three. To classify a group of objects together. In this example, I have different files, pictures, in different file galleries. So, I have three file categories and inside I have photos. And I want to classify some of them together. In my categories, I created a main photo category and several subcategories, group, single, couple. Using the category as a filter, I can display the photos categorized as group, single, or, or, or couple, uh, independent of the, the, the place where they are stored on my disk, in my Tiki, in the file categories. And this is a really a handy way to, to manage your uh, screen. Uh, here I use the wiki page uh, and the plugin list. This is one example and there are many ways to use this, of course. I can also use categories to help me to manage and use or reuse a list of things like a list of country, town and even zip code in tracker items, uh, a search system or, or any document. Here I have a short country list and subcategories of town. In a tracker using a category fields instead of the drop down fields, I can add and modify my list at any time without fear of losing consistency between items. It will ease my work and make sure no typo happens as the same categories will be found all over the tiki for object, feature, etc. For example, I can change the label of a category and it will be updated everywhere. I can also export my categories into another tiki. Categorize can have permissions, so you can also create an access control set using it. This is a bit advanced and you must be careful to avoid invalid rules, but for simple comprehension, here I have different categories of content and I can edit the permission for each category and those permissions will be applied upon global permissions. Uh, um, so I have public content, public editable content, private content, administrative content, etc. You understand the idea. Back to a wiki page, for example, I can assign a category to the page. So that's it for categories. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if yes, and if you learned something, please, you know what to do. Smash the like button. Tell me how you love me and share in your social network. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I publish uh, my next Tiki Express tutorial. That's it for today. Bye bye.